Hello guys, this is Kieran from Maple Board. Um, let's do a um, QA for this week and answering your questions. And also, I have, I have some wonderful things to share with you about the Maple Future product. Yes, so we have gathering a few questions and we want to ask you. Yeah. Uh, so the first question is when will the bamboo hurricane come out? Um, this is a bamboo deck. Um, it's very complicated and. Uh, we have been using um, like uh, five layers of uh, bamboo and three layers of uh, composite and two layers of uh, fiber glass and uh, fiber um, yeah so uh, we want to make it so next level much more premium um, even even better uh, maybe than the um, carbon so this is a case is a uh, flex case and also Oh, we're making the ESC to be uh, modular, easy to remove. ESC will be in this uh, aluminum case, so everything designed so perfect. So uh, it may take a uh, much longer time than, than we expected. And we have been started this for uh, half a year ago, and still uh, we, we only get this prototype by now and uh, many details need to be improved so it may take more time and uh, yeah and uh, there are many uh, interesting um, new technology we want to use on the maple hurricane yeah yeah i mean some people they prefer the carbon fiber but like a lot of people they love the bamboo as well that's why we designed this right yeah okay that seems really cool and the question number two is, uh, there are people saying they've been seeing the Gearbox Hurricane and do you think that will become available like maybe in the future? Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, so this is one of the Gearbox we have produced by CNC. So um, this is the wheel and this is the model. You can see it is very uh, smooth, mm -hmm. actually it's very smooth. And it has um, very um, little energy um, waste and uh, much higher uh, efficiency than belt. And uh, what's more, it can uh, transform much more power. If you use belt, the belt may uh, slip. I mean, how do you say? There is a maximum load on a soft belt, but mm. if it's a metal gear, um, you can have much, much more torque. Much more torque is uh, possible and available when you use gearbox and uh, and no finger hinge and no problem of stand or dangerous thing go into the belt when you ride. So it's safer. I think it's a, that's the future. That's the future. So if you can choose, like which yeah. one would you prefer? Like the belt drive or the gear drive? Um, for sure, I will go for gear drive. You know, I have been riding gear drive, but my favorite board was uh, Maple Hurricane with belt drive. Uh, that's enough. If I need more torque, like a um, more heavier rider, go explore the woods, the, the forest, um, and the, the dangerous places where your belt go uh, have problem, you will hurt yourself. I would uh, go for the gear because it's uh, safer and uh, more torque. Yeah. So it's basically depend on your needs, right? Yes, yes. Because I I I ride in city, street wheel is my favorite. Um so um I, I may don't need the extra talk there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Uh the next question is uh, people were wondering about the inventory of the Voyager and when will that become available? Um okay. Um can you see the Voyager here? We have been very careful and organized uh, recently uh, in Mipo because we are uh, growing to uh, maybe one of the leading brands in the market. So we uh, we produced more than 600 uh, Voyage already uh, for the release. Um, um, the, the marketing thing goes after the uh, factory thing. I mean, it's already in production, everything tested, and then we started uh, uh, receiving orders so to be uh, punctured and uh, meet the expectation so 
uh, no worry, uh, all the boards are already packed. We have we are shipping them uh, this week already. So especially to the United States, um, when you reserve a board, it's already on the road already. By the shipping, two months later, you will get it uh, uh, guaranteed. Um, uh, for for customers who can't wait, wait, uh, you can always pay extra. We will send you by airplane, air shipping, like two weeks delivery. So you will um, get them much sooner than others. You will be one of the first to test this wonderful, much better Voyager, my favorite. Yeah. Um, why Meepo Voyager though? Like, what's so special about it? Mm, yeah, I have been talking it in the uh, unboxing video. There are some demands not satisfied for the experienced riders, for myself. I mean, we want to street ride, we want the carving, we want the long body style, we want to carry it so we can use it more, on more conditions. We need to use it easy, easy carry it. And uh, we need to uphill faster. And we wanted to have more uh, battery capacity so we can ride so aggressive, but still have a decent range. So that's why we built this uh, Voyager, a street port with such big battery, such long uh, range, and so big a uh, motor. So that's all, one, all in one thing, uh, the desire not satisfied. Um, for myself and I think for many uh, people who want to ride the uh, street board, their desire is not satisfied. So the technical thing should catch up. Yeah, so there's definitely a need like, for people. Yes, there. yes, yes. Because when you ride a street board, it doesn't mean you don't need the power. It doesn't mean you don't need the range. You, you, you live in a hilly area. You want to go up here so fast, 25, 30 kilometers per hour. That, that's the way you enjoy riding. Mm -hmm. And when um, many people, when you go out with friends or uh, going somewhere, you don't, you just don't want to carry an all-terrain board so heavy and tremble. Uh, it, it's too much. But with a street board, you can carry it. it, it it's much smaller. But when you put it on the road, you are so aggressive, so fast. Right. Yeah. All right, and the next question is, uh, there are uh, customers, they notice like we have uh, the Hurricane CNC upgrade kit, and they yeah. have some questions about it. Uh, can you tell us like what's so special about it? Like, yeah. like why we create this? Um, yeah, that's um, in my uh, motto, something is that um, one way I, when I see something can be improved in uh, Mipo products, I will do it. Um, the Hurricane has been a very successful product. We, we sold uh, 3,000 units. And uh, thank you for all the people who choose the Mipo Hurricane and choose the Mipo. And uh, we want you to have a uncompatible, uh, I mean, uncompatible board, the best option. I, I don't want you to buy a new board and regret. I, I mean, that, that's something mm -hmm. I, I feel uh, very sorry. You, if you feel you is the wrong pick. So Hurricane is a great board, but it has a flaw like the the tube a get a brick for the most aggressive riders. The 155 millimeter wheel in the tube uh, get broken pretty easily for some people, but for others it's not a problem. So uh, we decided to upgrade to a bigger, more stable 175 millimeter wheels. So that's one thing. Another thing is also um, giving some of the heavy riders, they ride so aggressive and they hit a curb that all hit something to stop. And uh, sometimes the uh, truck break. Uh, at, uh, they, they know, I know uh, sometimes it's not about the problem quality, but still I want the truck to survive in extreme or of a Danism situation. So I make change to the connector and the base plate to um, aluminum uh, uh, six series, much more three times stronger and build them by CNC machining. It takes a lot of money and time 
to to machining these parts one by one. But I think um, very small part of the pro riders will benefit. They, they would like to have this upgrade so they can uh, ride safer and uh, knowing that it's okay, my truck won't break, I won't uh, fall because of the um, trucking quality. So they can enjoy the riding and uh, relax. So that's something I think uh, very valuable to do. So that's why we come up with these two upgrades. I think that's great. That, me that exactly shows people keep improving themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And the next thing, next thing is, will the Mini do uh, be updated with bigger wheels? Like, some people were uh, curious because, uh, you know, the current wheels are, like, pretty small, but like, uh, they're, they're wondering if they can, you know, have bigger wheels. Um, I I would say no because the mini dual is a um, a board we kept, we build for kids, teenagers, and uh, young ladies for very short distance uh, riding. Uh, if you uh, do ride more aggressive um, and want a bigger wheel, uh, you should go to the um, Mipo Mini. I mean, it's it's different, um, and uh, I I think the dual. Mini dual is easy to carry in the smaller, lighter weight, so it has to be with a smaller wheel and uh, like the way it is, and it's with a very um, shorter range, like only maybe like eight or six uh, miles range. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, and the next question is, uh, any updates on the Mipo Flow or like the all four WD Hurricane? Would that be like maybe something like a direction that Meeple heading in the future. Um, yes, definitely. Hold on, let me get the flow deck. Okay. So we have sent some information about the Meeple flow deck and the truck information. It would be like this. And based on this thing, um, we have been trying other deck shape like this. The, the grip tape is uh, um, come with the uh, deck like this. Mm -hmm. And this is a new deck we pick. Um, it's uh, a more more like the um, surfing board shape and with a um, better um, concave here. So you, you can um compatible with uh, 120 millimeter bigger wheels. So, um, the flow is also under developing. It would will be uh, look much nicer, much more beautiful than it is today. And uh, yeah, um, if you have a um, suggestion or you you feel uh, you, you really like the flow, yeah, we were really um, looking forward to your feedback or talking with us. I think that yeah, that's good. Yeah, and what is this though? Like. Is that uh, something new? Uh, sure, yeah, that, that's something I want to um, show to you guys. Uh, um, actually, I should make uh, another video talking about this uh, new technology thing. Uh, you know, uh, all the, uh, in electric skateboarding, um, to enjoy the thrilling, enjoying it and uh, be safe, you always want the wheel to have more grip. So when you ride, it will not slide. Slide making you fall. So, um, and we realized the technology in cars is, is the king. So we are making the tiles to be tubeless. So this is a tubeless tile wheel. You, you see the CNC hub and the uh, outer tire, but it has no inner tube inside. It's not. You, you get the air in from here and uh, you can ride it. It's all sealed. So this new thing um, gives you extra grip on the road. If you go racing and ride so aggressive, and uh, you, you will find this tile such an upgrade. So, and you never worry about the brake. Even though the out tire brakes, um, there is 
uh, stress here holding it, it will not uh, shrink. I mean, it will stay the shape and keep your riding safe. Yeah, that's the something we will um, come up in near future, not so far away, but it, it will be um, accessory for you to buy available. Yeah, two please, two please wheel. And uh, yeah, uh, and uh, also with, with the, I mean the gear drive box. Um, it's tested for a very long time, more than one year and a half, and it is very stable. So we, we may try to mass product mass produce this and make them available for all the mobile the users. Good. Yes, we will try to make this compatible with your hurricane at hand. Good. Uh, thank you guys for um asking and uh, um pay attention to our uh upgrades we have a lot of things going on and uh, uh, we know there are also demands that are not satisfied for example the um, carbon hurricane all-wheel drive but um, that's something we will do in the future but not right now because we have already a lot of things to make them better and deliver what we promised thank you for participating uh, looking always looking forward to hear your voice and uh, um, hear your feedback yeah